running and trying pregnant can seem a little bit taboo to some people. But just because you're pregnant doesn't mean that you're broken or that you should be put on high care or anything. Most of the time, any mother that has been exercising prior to getting pregnant should be able to continue with any daily normal exercise that she was doing previously, um, unless specified uh, otherwise by her doctor. It can be argued that hormonal changes can actually help and give a slight advantage to you when you are pregnant. In the first three months of pregnancy, you have a big surge of hormones and you also have a lot more, your body produces a lot more red um, blood cells, which gives your body a lot more oxygen, as well as um, the added hormones of progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone that can actually um, help you. For me, this was the case of my second pregnancy, morning sickness and fatigue. Uh, was much worse the second time around. My first pregnancy was great and I was able to keep running until 37 weeks pregnant. Um, second time around I was not so lucky. <laughs> Hello lads and ladies, so um, I'm Yanni's coach and I'll be helping her to uh, get ready for the Otto Trail Run happening later this year. Um, she's asked me to answer a few questions regarding uh, exercise and pregnancy. First off, um, training when you're pregnant is great. I highly recommend it. Um, if you're healthcare practitioner or doctor says that you may continue to do so, then go for it. Um, obviously within the career guidelines there are certain activities you should avoid, um, but I'll get, I'll, I'll get into that a bit later. Um, but my views on training in pregnant, fantastic, I highly, highly recommend it. So originally my 2019 running was going great. Um, I had just finished Paris Marathon and it was an amazing experience. It also also helped me realize that I wanted to focus on um, and do um, more shorter races rather than longer races. I was a bit tired of suffering, <laughs> tired of the very long um, events and I felt like I needed a little bit more adrenaline. So I changed my training a bit. I got together with a running group and then we did some speed work and I tried to get my legs stronger with strength training and it worked. I won my first 10k trail in June 2019. Uh, it was it was an amazing feeling to finally feel like I'm seeing results and um, uh, it was also a personal best for me. After that I was training really hard and just enjoying the possibilities of improving even more um, for my next races um, and then, <laughs> then everything changed again. So I suspected that I might be pregnant so I ended up going to buy a pregnancy test and the first one was negative. So I just let it go and I went on and um, but it still had this lingering feeling the whole time like this is what is going on this is what should be go is, is going on there's no reason why other reason why I could feel this tired my training is suffering and so I bought another one and um, I don't know I must have peed on it too hard or something because it just was defective like it broke like the, the thing just didn't want to work ended up um, buying another pregnancy the next day because I still I felt like I felt like I was busy wasting my money buying these pregnancy tests and they keep telling me it's negative and I was, at the same time I was like this is this has to be it there's something is not right I just felt it in my body so Paul and I got ready for a run uh, evening run like we usually do and I remembered that I had the pregnancy test I had to pee so I was like let's quickly do the test um, it was positive and um, it was quite a surprise but at the same time I felt content a feeling that I knew it that was that had to be this that was going on um, I put the pregnancy test in the basket of the pram and then we head out for a run and I decided to just think about it while I was running and how I feel about this whole situation and how I was going to tell my husband so we confirmed the pregnancy with the doctor and the doctor did some more tests, which had me a bit worried. Um, she then prescribed me medication for low levels of progesterone. And this had me freaked out completely. Um, I, I was too scared to run or to do anything that might cause a miscarriage. And that definitely impacted my training mentally. So I decided that I needed a goal to keep me going because the running was so, so hard and my training was so difficult. So we discussed it with my coach and a few other trail runners that I know that have done the race before and I decided to do the otter. 
decided to start training for it while I was pregnant to try and keep me motivated and then after baby would was here I would then start training for it postpartum um, everybody had mixed uh, feelings on whether they thought I would be able to make it or not but my coach made it clear that it is possible it was just going to definitely be hard work so when asked if I believe if Yanni can be ready in seven months for the, the Art of Trail after giving birth the answer is definitely yes um, I think after your six to eight week check after after giving birth and you get the go ahead um, training can begin um, as as I said previously it is important to get the go ahead from your doctor um, do I believe that she can can do it? I do. It will require a lot of hard work and dedication. The Arctic Trail is not an easy trail. We all know this. Um, it's trail running is not like road running. Um, it's it's different. The climbs are a hell of a lot tougher. Um, different muscles are used. Uh, she would have to train specifically for the Arctic. The Arctic is a highly technical run. Um, first and foremost, we'll have to build her a base from the get go. That means spending hours on the legs, just making sure her body can go the distance, um, building that aerobic base. Um, after that sort of load we can look at a periodized uh, plan where we do something called progressive overload where you get different uh, loading patterns within coaching you get your um, linear loading patterns um, your step loading patterns um, I will have a look at Yanni's uh, training state at that stage and then decide what uh, pattern to use and then we will start training uh, specifically for the art of using some speed training um, a lot of uh, strength training and, and, and uh, heel training, um, I'm getting her to do races uh, prior to Arta to um, experience technical technical running, the, the Arta is a highly technical race, um, beautiful race, so do I think she can make it in the 8 hour cutoff? I do believe she can, it won't be an easy journey, it's not going to be easy in training but I mean when she crosses that line it will be 100% be worth it. Um, training for, for trail running is also very different to road. The, Look, the, the basics are the same, but uh, you, you, you cannot train um, for a mountain on the road. You need to get, get into the mountains, spend time on those legs, train specifically for whichever event you choose. Um, and yes, after after being pregnant, for Yanni to make it to Arta in seven months would be a fantastic achievement. I definitely think it's doable. Anything is doable. If you look at a lot of professional female athletes who compete around the world and they were winning races within a year after their pregnancy. You look at South Africa's very own Landy Kralen, she was competing, um, um, I think it was within a year after after giving birth. Um, the other runners around the world, Paula Radcliffe for example, um, all who, who, who were running pretty soon after after having a child. Um, so yes, I think Yanni can do this, it will require a bit of but of grit, um, training is not going to be easy, um, but it will be worth it. Um, and yeah, it will be one hell of, a, one hell of an achievement to, to get to the art of seven months um, after giving birth, and it's definitely possible. So I think she should definitely go for it. In December, I managed to do a few beach runs, which was amazing because the sand's a lot softer, so it was a lot less um, impact on me and my belly. I really love running on the beach, um, and, but unfortunately, it came to a halt on 29th of December. I was on a beach run and I got a really bad pain, realizing I had to stop. Anyway, it was very sad. I had to walk back to my car disappointed and realized that I think good now, things will now have to change and that my body wasn't up running anymore. Um, it was very sad and I was, I was very disappointed. So then I started swimming and doing aqua jogging. I, it was actually quite amazing and I can't believe that I didn't start doing it earlier. Um, I would definitely recommend it to any pregnant mommy out there. Um, it's pre perfect low impact exercise to do and I thought aqua jogging would actually be kind of boring. But it's not and it ended up being quite a workout. So I tried to do swim three times a week and on the other days I tried to do strength training. Um, I was able to sneak out the house combining aqua jogging with just swimming back and forth in the pool, which is really nice.